Hey people, what's up? It's Jamil. And I've been going through something extraordinary like in the last um, three, four days. Ah, I've been seeing a lot of the filters of the gang stalking program breaking down, basically thinning out. And I noticed it I noticed it tremendously today, right? Okay, so I'm going through this thing right now where I'm going through this thing with this girl where she's on the other side of the gang stalking program and we both really want to be with each other and there's a dynamic of the gang stalking circled around um circled around, you know, her, her and her family. And me and her are kind of like, we're grinding it out because a lot of the time I'll see her and she really does just want, sometimes she won't do it. Sometimes she just won't do it at all. And especially like, especially I noticed the more, the more companionship and love she feels from me, the less she, the less she engages it. But then other times she'll just be like, other times she'll just kind of like, it's almost like she, she adopted my formula. She'll start pimping the program where She'll do little things. She, she, here and there, she'll do little stuff just enough to get by so she can get what she wants and shit. <laughs> it's like, it's fucking cool. I'm like, damn, that's, that's love of my life, him at the program. And then other times, I'll see where, like, the family has to make up. Like, if she won't step in and do stuff, the family will have to make up for it. But I saw something different, though. I saw something different on the family. I saw, like, the mother just... I saw the mother... And the father today outside on the deck, and you know both of them are wonderful people. And um, but I saw that I don't know. It's like the I saw on the mother on her energy. I don't know if I'm misreading her energy, but I kind of saw like it, it was almost it was almost it was almost like um it was it was almost like uh she was kind of drawn in between the two concepts in between the concept of me being able to speak openly to her daughter and the concept of, of the gang stalking program and the family saying that, that that's not something that should happen. As I was looking at the mother, it seemed like she was kind of like bouncing back and the concepts back and forth. And then the father, he, he, he's usually kind of cool. He's usually kind of like mellow, but he, I don't know. He today he kind of looked like, you know, damn it. I got to do all this stuff again. And it's really tightening up because see the gang stalking program really isn't sure what to do because they're used to, they're used to being able to manipulate the girl highly and then as soon as I step forward and I got my arms open to the girl now they're kind of really unsure of what to do and so it seems as though it's kind of like I don't know it seems like the father is like damn what the fuck you know what I mean and and I don't know it, it's interesting. But you know the the you know I love the whole family they're cool, but uh, the girl she's become she's become before it was just me and her like she would she would have to drive by and they would want her to look at me and even before I took action and started speaking out she still didn't really want to do it and now since I took action and started speaking out and saying okay you know if you want love for me you can have it if you want to be with me you can have it. Now it's ten times harder for her to do a lot of stuff they want her to do. But like I said, from time to time, she still does. She does enough just to get by, right? And then, you know, she I'm sure she likes to go out and have fun and stuff. But uh, so I'm watching all this stuff, right? And I'm noticing that now somehow me and her have been able to build some sort of like nonverbal communication between the things that she does. The other day, I, not today, but yesterday, I saw her in the car with the gang stalking stuff, and she had, to, and, she, and she was with this guy, like, bigger type dude, uh, big, like, heavy, heavier size type dude, and he was driving, and now they're going, they're coming down a street like this, and then they turn and go down another street, and I could kind of tell that the program wanted her to keep going, but she was like, no, turn, turn. She turned, she had her head down. Now, usually she puts her head down because she doesn't want to make eye contact with me when she's around another guy, or she doesn't, I, I don't know, she doesn't want to see me like, she has to do it for the program, but she doesn't want me to see her with another guy. I mean, that's, you know, that's the only logical thing I can come up with. And so, but this time when she put her head down, it didn't look like she was putting her head down in shame. It looked like she was putting her head down just because she wanted to hurry up and get through it. But it was so strange because she didn't look like she was in the car with the guy. She looked like she was, she looked like she was more with me than she was in the car. It's, it's hard to explain. And I saw that and I realized something eventually, see, what's happening is me and her are eventually moving towards open communication. And 
I think people are starting to see that because I started directly talking to her on YouTube. And now after I started directly talking to her on YouTube, she felt my energy more. She, she was like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, damn, J Jamil, you know, JR, Jamil, or whatever, he's on, you know, he's on YouTube talking to me. And when, and when that started, then she was just like, that just kind of like blew her mind for a minute. And, and she was just like going back and forth with, with can she keep doing this? Can she not keep doing this? And now it's becoming a thing where since I, start, since I spoke to her through YouTube videos and stuff, now it's become a sort of thing where the next step is we're going to have to have more communication and for, for us to progress, for us to actually be able to evolve into any type of relationship, there has to be open communication. It can't just be me making fucking YouTube. You know what I mean? Excuse my language. But, and so, it's sort of a thing where she's becoming more independent in the concept that, you know, sometimes she'll do certain things, sometimes she won't. So she's starting to take control and grind through the program on her side and do all that stuff, and I'm doing it on my side. But the next step is open communication. How does that happen? How does that happen? It's not like, it's, it's not like, you know, it's, it's not like she's just going to be walking down the street. I mean, she might. It's, up, it's all up to her, really. To be honest with you, it's all in her hands. It, it's a situation where the family, the, the, some, so I've, seen, I, I've seen how some people in the family seem, seem a lot more cooler with the idea of me speaking to her. But I think where the father's coming from, I think he's just like, man, if, you know, if you, okay, listen, we're a family. We're over here, we're a family, and we're just like everybody else you know, in, in the neighborhood. And so if you talk openly with Jamil, that's going to create, that's going to create, that's going to create something where, what's going to come after that? How, how you know what I mean? It, it's going to create a whole new thing, but I don't think anything, would, if she came and talked to me, what's the worst they could do? What, I mean, he can't, he, like the fathers can't be like you're not my daughter anymore or something like you know what I mean like what you know and so obviously me and her share a great companionship and after she received my love I can tell she feels far better about it and she wants more of it but but there's limit but she feels as though there's great limitations on her because of the dynamic she's in within the gang stalking program and so where I'm coming from is I'm saying. Now you have to follow your heart. If you don't follow your heart, there's no way we can meet. I followed since the winter time. Well, since the winter time when I came out and you looked at me, like, you know, when I came out, she looked at me. I followed my heart thus far to make it to this point to be able to be open and say, I love you. I want to make you happy and take care of you the rest of your life. <clears throat> She's been receiving that in the last couple of weeks. A couple of weeks ago, I wasn't saying anything. I, I was just like, you know, whatever, you know, just keep driving by in the car and keep looking at me. So, you know what I mean? Like, it was like that, you know? But I still really cared about her. So I said, you know, okay, since this isn't getting anywhere and I make you incredibly happy and obviously want to be with each other, I'm going to have to do something. And so then I started coming, so, so, so I started talking to her through the YouTube thing and all this stuff. And then it's completely changed our relationship. It's made it, I mean, we're definitely more towards open communication than we were before. And so now I don't see how, I don't see how um, she can go wrong. If, you know, if you follow your heart, you can't go wrong. Who's going to tell you you're wrong? But at the same time, but at the same time, but at the same time, you have to have an income, you have to have money, you, you're in a family and the family has certain expectations on you. you have to, so it's a pretty interesting, it's a pretty interesting concept. It, it's pretty interesting. It's going to be, what, it, what's, what it's going to boil down to, what it's going to boil down to is, is, is she going to end up following her heart and going for what she wants? Or is it going to be a situation where she, uh, Where she makes where she makes exceptions to how far she's willing to follow her heart. I will follow my heart up until this point, but will I go any further? See, that's the interesting thing to it. And see, I I through the gang stalking program, 
and through all the stuff I've been through, I've matured to the point to where <clears throat> I'm following this stuff and I'm watching it. And I'm able to keep a dialogue with viewers and share with them my experience of it. You know, and so it's kind of it's kind of like it's kind of like a love story that can be fulfilled. It can be fulfilled. I could just be hanging out outside, and she could go out of the way and just say, "You know what? Fuck this. I'm just going to approach Jamal," and she could do that. Then what's going to happen though? What's her family? What would her family say? That's going to see what I'm saying. That's the that's that's the that's the burden on her. How far is she willing to follow her heart? See my point now. I know I know I know I'm having a great effect on her. After my love reached her, I've seen it ch change her tremendously. She she's really started all uh, blooming. If I see her in a car. No matter who she's in the car with, it looks like she's. It looks like I can read her body language and tell she 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 wants to be with me. <sighs> she even does this little thing sometimes. Like like I saw her one time. If you're watching this, you remember I saw she. There was this road. There's this road, and she was with her father in the car, and she looked out the window. She looked out the window, and she did this the other day, where she looked out. She was in this van, and she was looking out the window. And her energy when she does that, I can tell she I can tell she was thinking about me. And I, it's just so mad the energy between us is, is so magnetic and so powerful and we don't even have open communication right now. So I'm wondering what, what would they do? If she if she just if she just called me on the phone or she uh she just came over here and knocked on my door or she approached me in the street, what could they do to her? I've never heard. I've never heard of a scenario like this. So I don't. They could. And from what I see, if she said that I was following my heart and that's where my heart led me, there, there's nothing anybody can do. But but anyhow, I can see how. I can I can see how the father. See I see I see where the father's coming from. The father's like. You know this this is complicated. This is a big. You know, this is a big thing. Once once you do that, it's gonna open up a whole new it's gonna once you once you do that, it's gonna open up a door that you can't close. Because now you you approach Jamil, you've talked to him. How well really do you know Jamil? You know what I mean? How how yeah, you guys care for each other, but when's the last time you even talked to each other? See what I'm saying? So it's gonna open it, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. And so I what I wanna do what I want to do is is I want to create a dynamic where I can have open communication with her, right? Where where we can approach each other and talk to each other. Small at first it might be small. It might be a situation where we just wave at each other and say hi, and it, and then it goes into something else, and then something else, and something else, and then something else, and then it gets wider. Or it might just be she just walks up to me. And we, you know, we talked for a while. <clears throat> I saw they used a female that looked like her. Um, see, one thing the gang stalking program does is they like to use lookalikes and stuff like that. And so they used a female in her driveway. They're like the female is putting like a TV in, in a car or something like that. And I was walking by and I saw that. And obviously the gang stalking program had the girl out there. You know, ju just just because I was out there, but it wasn't her though, and so I'm looking at it, and I'm like, had, when if that had been her, she, I know she wouldn't have done, she wouldn't, have, she wouldn't have came out there unless she felt she would have been able to talk to me, unless the parents would have been okay to, okay to for her to talk to me, I, I don't think she would have wanted to, don't, she did, she, <laughs> see, she, I caught her, she was angry, See, there was this thing going on a couple weeks ago where I had the gang stalking program started using her sister. And so I had kind of talked her sister up. And I think that had, I think that had really pissed her off because she had to drive the car and her sister had to look at me and all this stuff in the car. And I could tell that was making her, uh, I could tell she was getting angry by that. And so she had, they had some dude from the gang stalking program, dude, real skinny dude with a beard, sunglasses, all this stuff. And he's outside in the car, 
and she comes out to the car, and I can tell by her body language she's angry. You know what, man? I should have said something to her. But at that point, at that point, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because we, the vibe, the vibe between us was like, fuck it, you know? But then after, after I saw that she was angry and upset, and, and, and she had, and she, I saw that she, I saw that she wasn't cool with the situation of us. So I moved for now I'm moving forward. And she's moving for like we're both moving forward towards each other, like this, right? But now at this point, it's coming to the point to where we're going to have to have open communication, and I don't know how that's going to happen. It might not. I mean, maybe, maybe. I I predict me and her will end up being together at some point, no matter what. I just see that. I I can just see that. I I've seen it. I've seen it on her over and over again. That that's what she wants. It might have to be till both of us move out of this area. I mean, it might be till, you know, maybe, maybe that'll happen. Maybe I'll move and, and then she'll feel more open to, I don't know, but I see on her energy though, that that's what she wants, but we have to have open, see what I'm saying? And so I don't, I don't know how it's going to play out. <clears throat> but I saw that the mother, the today, the mother, her energy was far different than what it usually was. The, the mother, the mother looked like. The mother looked. The mother looked like she was cool with it. Actually, I'm not trying to put. If, if she's watching this, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth or anything. You know what I mean? But she looked. But she kind of looked like she was cool. She, like, she was cool with it. Like she was just like, yeah, okay. But the father, he looked like he. He was like, uh huh. He looked. Like he wasn't cool with that. You know, he looked like he was kind of frustrated with the whole thing. Like sometimes, you know, like what's going on? Sometimes our daughter will do stuff. Sometimes she won't. Now Jamil's saying he loves her. He's talking to her openly on the internet. So the only step, the only step next is for us to have open communication. And so I don't. And so that's why I told her I made a, a video for her, where I'm saying just follow your heart. And then obviously. You want us to be able to talk openly, so follow your heart. Because it's really in her hands, not really in my hands. So we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens.